Right, okay, so second test. I'm sorry it's dark. In fact, I'll turn it on. Okay, so what we've done is we've hooked up the motor to the output. I've got the LEDs in there as well. But I've hooked up the motor to the output, and I'm actually trying it through the different modes. So here... <coughs> uh, I don't know which mode we're in, actually. Okay, so that's low off. Okay. Oh. Right, and you can see. I can, oops. I can control the motor speed to full speed. Okay. And if you look at the display, you can see it's about 18 volt peak to peak. Yeah. is slightly above the uh, but it's it's probably because of the spiking I mean if we, let's put the markers on it and the markers are showing sort of 13.7 right so just above 12 okay now if I switch it now so that it's on uh, push pull it's both ways you can see it's just slowed it down because it's gone to the reverse phase okay and I can control the motor All right and again you can see it's working up to full speed but the reason why I put it that way around is because now what I can do is I can switch it over to the other supply right so the motor's working off the other supply now yeah now I can now go and you can see it's still working but it's just that it's changed and if I switch it to I it's, there we go so that's high off Right, it's now running from the what is that? The negative 12 volts, right? And I'm doing high off, so I'm actually switching it against the other the other rail now. Okay. So basically, what I'm doing there, I'm trying to. So, in the diagram, I've got the motor connected up like this. Okay, so this one is now controlling the motor. That one isn't there because it's the same motor. And this one here is controlling the motor speed, right? And I'm just pulsing that, and this one is remaining turned off. And you can see that it's, it is altering the speed of the motor. Okay? Now, I can switch it. You see there it is, it's on 50%. Now, I can switch it so that it actually just pulls both ways, right? And that is now. So it's now pulling both ways, okay. It doesn't make a difference really to the way the motor works, right? And what I'll do is I'll just do a stop. Okay, so the motor is now stopped and we have no supply, but it's pulled it down to the negative because it's connected to the negative. Now if I now switch it over so that it's now connected to the positive, you'll see that it changes the power supply rail. The motor's still not turning, right? And now I can change it to low off, which means it's now connected here, and I'm switching it using this one, and that one isn't being switched. You see? Oops, a bit too high. All right. So you can see how it's switching now. 50%. All right. Now if I now turn it to high off, right, it goes off. See? All I'm doing is switching it between the two. So what I'm doing is I'm switching it to either PW on that one or PW on that one. Now obviously, if the motor is connected, where is it connected to? It's currently connected up on this side, right? So if I'm going to pulse that, it'll have no effect. And of course it doesn't. If I turn it off, sorry, I'll turn it onto a PWM, right? It's about 50%, right? And I've now switched it so that it's actually pulling high. And so that's going to have no effect because it's pulling high. You see? Right? But that's now pulling it. Basically, it's, it's pulsing it to the high rail. But it's already connected to the high rail, so it's not going to move. Right? Now, if I now switch it to the low rail, you will see the motor come on. There you go because we're pulling it to the low rail. And if I now switch it the other way, there we go. See? 
that's now connected the motor just to make sure I've got it right I'm connecting the motor here now and I'm switching between PWing these two right if I'm PWing that this motor is not going to move because it's just pulling it to the, it's just a loop whereas if I PW on that and that's what happens when I switch it between the two you see moving stopped moving stopped okay and the other one I can do is switch between the two okay now that is switching both ways now it's pulling it's pulsing alternately on these two in order to make it move and it doesn't matter which way I connect it now as you can see it's now turning if I switch it to the other supply it's still running see I can now switch it between two supplies oh blue neck yeah and it carries on running yeah but if I switch it to only one rail right okay then when I switch it to the other rail it doesn't move because it's not being switched to that one so the bottom line is is that this is working and it doesn't matter what the LEDs were showing it's because of the floating rail thing the LEDs were showing fine and the motors working really well and this works I now have PWM but it's in trinary because we've got a trinary output and all I'm doing is flipping between when I'm doing a PWM which switches between two states I'm just simply selecting which two states I switch through and I have three options don't I I can either do low off high off or low high you see and so it works good and we're done